All right, I am going to film me joining a Zoom meeting. This link was shared through Facebook. On Facebook, I'm going to events, and then I clicked that one, and they linked a Zoom link there. When I click the Zoom link, then I just click open Zoom meetings. <laughs> That's it. That's great. Good morning. Okay, I'm just going to show you a little bit. If you go to zoom.us, you can sign up. It's free and put in your work email um, and just get started. But if you receive a link to a Zoom meeting, you don't have to have an account to join that meeting. So here, um, in my, and I am paying for the pro account, but you can sign up for free. And I'll link uh, Zoom underneath. It is my refer a friend link. I'm not sure if that goes towards future uh, points towards the account or, or, or what, but it is a link you're free to use. And um, so when I go into the home app page, I can look at what meetings I have coming up. I can, uh, they have other options too that I haven't fully explored, but if I, and I will, if I click new meeting, that will set up, I can join with computer audio, I can start my video, and you can see that right away. Um, if I end meeting that, uh, I'm ending the meeting for everyone. Now, if you get a link, you can also join a meeting and just add in the link. Or if you receive a link from another source, like, let me take a look here. Go to my meetings. Copy invitation. I'm going to just show you what that looks like. Okay, so I'm just showing you what the invitation looks like. So sometimes you'll get something that you've been invited to a Zoom meeting, the date and time, check the um, time zone. You can take just this link, put it in the um, web address URL um, code location up at the top, and then you just open Zoom meetings and you would jump in. So again, my mic is going. I can start the video and look at it like that. You can see me here and I'm going to end meeting again too, just to kind of show you around. So if you have this invitation or the link, you can often just go right into that link in the email invite and it will connect you through. You just allow it to use your mic and camera so that you can participate. Um, and you can do this on the phone as well. And then also it will give you different phone numbers. If you're having problems or don't have a mic, you can call in. There are potentially costs to calling in. Otherwise through online, if you have um, unlimited Wi-Fi or have an, you know, that's not going to cost anything. So that's just a little bit of a look around here. Let me go on camera again so I can finish this recording with me on the screen as well. I hope that this look around how to log in and uh, some step-by-step -step is of help to you or your clients and customers or family members too. You can get together with your group on Zoom and have a variety of different um, squares of seeing each other, which is really great to have a group chat meeting that way. You can record it or don't record it. The advantages of recording is that then you can send a replay if it's an online meeting 
or an online workshop or learning experience. And it's a really great opportunity uh, to all be together and you can even share screens. That's where then you or someone else, can, if you have the setting set up for that, you can share a PowerPoint presentation or something else. It's great too that if someone's having problems, even technical issues, they can show you their screen of where they're having problems and you can direct them, click this or click that and then they can physically be taking care of their issue and you're walking them through it. It's great to be able to have these online platforms that we can connect and interact with people, that people don't feel isolated um, and you can still continue with your business or use it for personally too, to connect with uh, family and friends or colleagues and support each other through this time. Hope this is of help for you. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services. Feel free to share this, comment if there are other videos that would be helpful to you. And it means a lot if you like, and especially if you would subscribe, because my goal is to reach 100 subscribers on YouTube before April 3rd, so I can celebrate my three years in business. With reaching that 100 goal, I can then name my channel instead of that big long list of letters. But it's good that we keep working towards our goals even through this time. It is a serious time. It's affecting everyone differently, but we're all dealing with it. So we need to be kind and good to each other and reaching out on these video platforms really can help. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, I hope you have a light bulb learning moment and that you're able to reach out to your audience, whoever that might be. Thanks again. And until next time.